And put it in release. Yeah. Oh, whoops. Dumbass. So, now it's in full service. We put it in release. You see it's hitting this contactor, and it swings back and forth to balance. All right. There's a better angle of it. Um, so, let's say full release. You see how that pendulum goes all the way over here and energizes, and this energizes the release magnet valve. So now, we go into service, and you see how it balances. There's a little plunger in here with the air pressure, so that's the equalizer. It's like a, it's like a pneumatic, um, it's like an air regulator, but except instead it has a little piece that comes out too, which controls this. And you see how that moves as I slowly take on more brake. And you're not hearing any sound coming out of this. It's all happening downstairs. So it's basically just, it just regulates the amount of air in the system? Yeah, exactly. And also, if it, it, it also is self-regulating. So say there's a little teeny leak, you're not going to lose air pressure. This will do that for you. So let's say I put it in that. It's going to... You see how the air pressure goes up? Yeah. And then if I did this, air pressure goes down. And then now it readjusts itself back to the setting that I have here. So it's a beautifully engineered system. controller. You'll see how it works as you're opening and closing doors. Let me get out of your shots. Um, so let's close this door. So we've got a great small And you see when it reaches the, this one, it shuts the motor off so it doesn't overshoot. Another beauty of this system is that they actually included rubber down here so you're not slamming the door against the frame of the car. It actually has a bit of a buffer space because these motors are not weak. These are 36 volt motors. This is like a car, this is bigger than a car starter. It's so like it basically starter. stops it from like throwing the door into the train? Yeah, that, that's what these cams control, and what this also prevents, in case that's not working properly. I guess we use the wrench. And that works like that. And that relay is your override there, um, I think. And then the beauty of this is that, you know, all the resistors and everything, and these are tube resistors, so these are calibratable, so you can change everything if you wanted to. You can change where the sweeper is, you can, because this is a voltage divider, basically. That's what's happening here. Um, it, you get a percentage of the voltage, the voltage drop between here at this point. Yeah. So, very simple, very robust. Uh, these aren't actually the original door motors. The original door motor, they believe, were air actuated and they were under the seats. So, yeah. Gio, is this an oil filled gearbox? It's. Um, see how the lock comes in? Yeah. That way, no one can open the doors when the train's in motion. Well, don't be afraid to work the mechanism. It's only playing right now. And we will kidnap Gil Machiavelli, and we will put him in here. Stop with Red Rubber Ball! No! We're, we're, we will do that. We will make your life. You're ruining my life. I'll ruin I'm yours. ruining your life. All all lives are ruined. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, oh, look at all the spiders in that one. Wow. Ooh. Yeah, you can tell that one's been cut out for years. <laughs> what flavor of spider? Uh, all. 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 All of them. Shine a light. Yeah. Okay. Take a look. I got a light. Both of them because they got a piece of metal down there. Both of them on track. Both of them on different locations. So I think they might have been knocked around and knocked loose or something. Yeah, there's crap that probably got picked up from those holes too. Yeah, so there's a lot down there. So I think shove a vacuum down there. You got a vacuum? Yeah.